Hello everyone, here we are going to continue with exercise 18.1 of the chapter mensuration. We have already did till question number 8 in our previous video. Now we are going to do question number 9. Now here in question number 9 we are having this figure in which AB equals to 3 cm, AC equals to 4 cm and we have to find the area of triangle ABC in which angle A is 90 degree. If here the angle A is 90 degree, hai, so we can use the formula half base into height to find the area of triangle. So the area of triangle equals to 1 upon 2 base that is AB into height that is AC and this will be equals to 1 upon 2 into 3 into 4 and this will cancel out okay, 2 ho jayega, and this will be equals to 6 centimeter square and the next one we have to find is the side BC. So we can use Pythagoras theorem to find the value of BC. So by Pythagoras theorem we get BC square equals to AB square plus AC square and here BC square equals to AB we are having 3 so 3 square plus AC we are having 4 so 4 square and this is equals to 9 plus 16 that is equals to 25 and that implies BC equals to the square root of 25 this will be 5 centimeter as the answer for the second part. Now we have to find the altitude AD which is corresponding to the base BC. Now we is triangle ka area pata hai, that is equals to 6 cm square and we also know the length of the side BC that is equals to 5 cm. So on using the area of triangle with the base BC and the altitude AD we get area of triangle ABC equals to 1 upon 2 BC into AD. We know the area of triangle ABC as 6 cm so we get 6 over here and this will be 1 upon 2 into BC we have 5 so we can write 5 over here and AD we have to calculate and therefore this AD equals to 6 into 2 upon 5 that is equals to 12 upon 5 and this will be equals to 2.4 centimeter as answer. Now let's move to question number 10. Here we are having this rectangular field in which the length is 80 meter and the breadth is 40 meter and we are having two cross paths which are intersecting at this common point and the width of this cross path is 2.5 meter. So first of all, we have this cross path ka area nikaling, which is along with the length. So the area of path parallel to length will be equal to 80 into 2.5 that is 200 meter square and then we have to find the area of this part which is parallel to breadth and the area of path parallel to breadth will be equal to 40 into 2.5 that will be equal to 100 meter square. Now we have calculated this area which is parallel to the length and this area which is parallel to breadth but while calculating both of it we have calculated this portion twice so we have this portion ko do bar calculate kiya either se bhi aur either se bhi so we are going to calculate the individual area of this common portion aur fir in dono ko add karke isko subtract karenge then we will be getting the area of this cross path so the area of common portion equals to 2.5 into 2.5 that is equals to 6.25 meter square and area of cross path will be equals to 200 plus 100 minus 6.25 so we have added these two and we are subtracting these two and on solving this we will be getting 293.75 meter square so this was our first part and in the second part we have to calculate the area of this unshaded portion for that we are going to calculate the total area of this garden and then we have to subtract this area of cross path so area of garden equals to 80 into 40 that is equals to 3200 meter square and area of unshaded region will be equals to this minus this one that is 3200 minus 293.75 and here we get 2906.25 meter square as answer. Now let's move to question number 11. Here we are having this figure in which we have to find the area of this shaded region. Very first of all, let the name it. So A, B, C, D, E and F. Now we have 18 cm and we have 10 cm. So if this is 10 cm, this means this will be 8 cm in length from here to here. Now, this hole is 12 cm so, or if it is 7 cm here, 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 so this will be of 5 cm in length. 
तो हमें सबसे पहले इन तीनों का एरिया निकालना होगा और फिर इस रेक्टेंगल के एरिया में से तीनों के एरिया को सब करेंगे सो वेरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सो एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट टू बेस वी आर हैविंग ए बी इन टू हाइट वी आर हैविंग बी सी सो दिस विल बी वन अपॉइंट टू बेस दैट इज एटीन इन टू हाइट दैट इज सेवन दिस इज गोइंग टू कैंसिल आउट ऑफ वी गेट नाइन सो दिस इज सिक्सटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर Now we are going to calculate the area of triangle CDE. So area of triangle CDE we have one upon two into base we can take CD into height we can take ED and this will be one upon two into five into eight. We can cancel it out. We get four and this will be twenty centimeter square. And then we will be calculating the area of EFA. And area of triangle EFA we have one upon two base we can take EF. Into height we can take F A and this will be one upon two into E F we are having ten into height we are having twelve. So this is cancelled to get six. This will be equal to sixty centimeter square. Now we have calculated all the three areas and we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle A B D F. And here area of rectangle A B D F we have length into breadth that is eighteen into twelve and this will be two hundred sixteen centimeter square. And now to get the area of the shaded portion, we are going to subtract the area of three triangles from the area of rectangle. So area of shaded portion equals to two one six minus the sum of sixty three plus twenty plus sixty, and this will be two one six minus one forty three, and this will be seventy three centimeter square as answer. Now let's do question number twelve. Here we are having a square grassy lawn, and there is a uniform path around it, and the area of grassy land has been given to us as seven hundred twenty nine meter square, and the area of path around it is also two hundred ninety five meter square. So very first of all, we are going to find the length of the side with the help of the area of the grassy lawn. So the area of lawn equals to seven twenty nine meter square. So we can write this one as side square equals to seven two nine, and the side will be equals to the square root of seven two nine. That is equals to twenty seven meter. So the length of the sides A B C B C C D and A D will be of twenty seven meter. And if I include this path also in this lawn, so the area of plot will be equals to Seven to nine plus two nine five, and that is equals to one zero two four. And here again, we can use side dash to the whole square, and side dash equals to the square root of one zero two four. That is equals to thirty two meter. And now we have to find the perimeter of the plot. So the perimeter of the plot will be equals to four into side dash as It is a square, so we are going to use the formula four into side. So we have got four into thirty-two. That is equals to one two eight meter. So the sum of length of all the boundaries of this whole plot will be of one hundred twenty-eight meter. Now we have to find the width of this plot. So as it has been given that it is uniform from all of the side. So if I take this one as x, then this will also be x. अब यहाँ पर इस पूरे की लेंथ हमको दी गई है 32 मीटर वी हैव जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड एज 32 मीटर एंड दिस पोर्शन इज 27 मीटर सो वी कैन से दैट x 27 plus x equals to 32 मीटर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन वी गेट x 27 plus x equals to 32 एंड हेंस 2x equals to 32 minus 27 दैट इज 2x equals to 5 and hence x will be equals to 5 by 2 so x equals to 2.5 meter so the width of each of the path is equals to 2.5 meter as answer that's all for this video thank you